guys, what is happening? I am Eric Surf Six. Welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time, and today is going to be Japanese izakaya. That means it's a cheap, all different sorts of dishes kind of place. Lots of varieties. It's a cool, hip place, and yeah, let's go take a look. Also, drinking, 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 drinking. Uh. It's on the second floor. Come on. Ooh, got to take off our shoes. It's a nice place. There's nobody here. This is great. Got a private room. Got to remember in Japan to open the menu from this side first. When you start this way, it's the opposite. This is the back of the menu. You see, the kids menu, and the desserts. Japanese izakaya uotami. Enjoy Japanese izakaya food. Izakaya is like a pub, a casual Japanese. Lots of different dishes. Yeah. Lots of nice things. So when you come to one of these Japanese izakaya restaurants, typically otoshi comes first, and this is what's included in the table charge. It's generally like a couple bucks. It's very fair. This looks like uh, burdock root and corn, like a yeah, burdock root salad. Yeah, I love this stuff. Hmm. Oh, that's a hearty salad. Got mayonnaise in it. I also ordered a. Well, it's a green. It looks like a green smoothie. It's got kale in it. It has goya, and it's also got some sort of like baby wheat. Mm-hmm. Well, let's try it out. It just tastes like water, flavored water. Nah, a little bit of bitterness down at the bottom. I think there's some matcha green tea. Yeah, but overall, pretty weak. Look at this. This is a frozen lemon sour. Check out this presentation. Yeah, so I get it. They just slice the lemon, freeze it, and then it stays together in one piece. And this has got liquor in it. It's a sour. That's what they just, they call it a sour. It's a classification of a drink here. So, you know how you drink it. It's... it's got carbonation. Like carbonated lemonade. Oh. Interesting. All right, so the first dishes have arrived. These are Japanese peanuts. Mm -hmm. Japanese green peanuts, otherwise known as soybeans. Mm -hmm. Edamame. Several different ways you can eat these. Some people like to just take the seed out first and eat it. The bean. Right? Which way would you eat it? That's the question. <laughs> Oop. Gotta be careful, Sam. That's why I prefer to put them in my mouth first and bite them. Yeah. Because then it's not gonna it's gonna fall on the floor of the table. Okay, next up. Now some of you aren't gonna like this. This is not tuna sashimi. This is raw horse meat. It's called basashi. And this stuff is some of my favorite. I really like this stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing. Chilled, raw horse meat. Oh. This is really good quality. The last time I had it, it was tougher. This is really tender. Yeah. 
It's not gamey at all. And it's in kind of a thick sauce. Yeah, like a bulldog sauce, tangy. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Let's get some of the greens with it. Some onions. Horseradish. Yeah. There we go. Like a salad. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right, moving right along. This is the Stingray Fin. It's called Ehide in Japanese. And you got to eat this hot because when it's hot, it's soft. As soon as it cools down, it gets hard. A little bit of mayo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Soft, it's sweet, it's creamy. This is amazing stuff. Ehide. If you come to Japan, you have to try this. Mm hmm. Oh, it's so good. Okay, moving along. This is octopus right here. Octopus, and it looks like green beans, some tomatoes, maybe it's in a basil sauce, perhaps. Going in for the octopus. Wow, this is full of flavor. It's an octopus salad, served cold. The dressing is wonderful. I don't know. Like a vinegar based dressing. Tang you. It's got herbs in it too. Pepper. A lot of spices. This is really good. The next dish is the shishamo. This is a uh, smelt fish, I believe. Smelt. And these, I think you can just eat these with your fingers. A little bit of mayo. Go right in, eat the whole fish. Mmm. Perfection. And these have got little eggs inside them. Let me show you. Bust one open. These are eggs. Yeah. So it's kind of crunchy in consistency. Yeah. I love them. All right, the sashimi plate has arrived. Look at this lovely presentation. The main item here is this, the shrimp. Look at this guy. Yeah. And with this, you gently separate the head from the body so that you can get all the meat out. Go, oh boy. That's how you do it. And you eat all that. This is one bite right here. Yep, not two, one bite. It's not gonna be pretty. Wow. Oh. So next up is one of the salads that I ordered and this particular salad is the smoked saba and potato salad. Let's give it a try. It's good fish. Yeah, by itself, much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, potato salad is pretty basic in Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, it's different. So this is one of the more creative dishes. I've never seen this before. It's called the Bakudan Onigiri, which means the exploding rice ball. That's right, it's a bomb. pretty messy to pull that off. All right, here we go. Soft boiled eggs, I love these things. Mm. Best way to eat an egg. It's the messiest rice ball I've ever eaten, that's for sure. Moving on. All right, this dish I'm particularly interested in. This is cheese fondue on top of fried fish. Never seen that before. And it looks like more of the bulldog sauce, tangy sauce, right? And cabbage. 
All right, try the fish. Fish fondue. Have you guys ever had this fish fondue? Fondue. Oh, wow, it's like English fish and chips. It's just white fish. Oh my gosh, it's good. It's some really good fish. And the way that this is breaded, it's it's a very soft breading. Let me see if I can give you a cross section. Yeah, it's a very thin coat of breading on it. Yeah, it's just about right. This next dish is a Korean dish. Can you guess what it is? Well, it's spicy, so that would be the kimchi. Yeah, there's the kimchi right there, and it's also got a massive piece of tofu. Look at how big, look at that tofu. Oh, let's give it a try. You get some kimchi. You get some tofu. You get some of this red spice, some veggies. Mm-hmm. And some soup. Okay, so let's do the soup first. Let's give it a taste. Make sure it's not too much on fire. <coughs> oh my. Wow. It's on fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wash it down with my lemonade. Let's get down to business here. Kimchi, tofu, together. I like it. Nice in the winter. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you, like on a one to six, for spice level, it's a six. Yeah, definitely. And finally, the last dish has arrived. The last dish. What? The salad, the green salad that I ordered first is the last dish? Well, that's just the way they roll in Japan. <clears throat> You, know, you never know when you order at one of these places what's going to come out first. But this is a nice looking salad. You know, mostly spinach is the base, but a lot of other leafy greens in here as well too, it looks like. Yeah, let's give it a go. It's hard to find a salad like this in Japan, just dark greens. Pretty rare. It's got nuts in it too. Mm -hmm. The dressing's a bit salty. Normally I would eat my greens in a smoothie in the morning. Mm -hmm. But I would put this quantity, or more, maybe double this quantity. Alright, I think that's it. <clears throat> that's it for this meal. Mm -hmm. So, once again, the name of the restaurant is the Uotami. And I'm impressed by this place. I've been to a lot of different types of Japanese izakayas. And this is one of the better ones for sure. So on my rating scale of one to six Eric heads, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this meal a five star. I'm gonna give it five out of six. Definitely some tasty foods here. Good varieties of stuff. And that's the reason why you go to one of these places. So you can try many different varieties and dishes of foods at a fairly reasonable price. Thank you guys for watching. Look forward to reading your comments down below, and we'll see you in the next episode.